Hey guys, it's your girl Jasmine and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you guys are new. 27 hearts beat. So today, you guys might be shocked by the title of this video, but yes, it's true. Today, I am going to be reading some of my hate comments. Now why? Just because I thought they're pretty funny and I want to share them with you guys. I really never thought I would do this video so early on and I'm not saying that my channel gets a ton of hate but even the few hate comments that I do have, first off I think they're pretty funny which is why I want to share them with you guys. I also think it's kind of interesting because my channel is so small but you guys are great. If you're new here don't forget to subscribe down below. I didn't really think that I would get much hate which I haven't. I've gotten more love than hate. The only reason I'm showcasing these hate comments is because I think they're really funny. If any of the haters are watching my videos still hello I'm going to give you you know a little bit of feedback on your comment because you know every comment even hate comments need need a little bit of feedback with them I thought this would be a really interesting and funny video for you guys to kind of see what hate comments look like on a smaller channel I don't get them often so when I do see them I actually do read all of my comments so I read my comments even if they're hate comments and I just want to share them before we get started with this video though don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below and turn on post notifications follow me on social media I will have it somewhere on the screen for you and It'll also be in the description box down below. If you're excited to see these hate comments, keep on watching. So I'm going to try to put like the thumbnail of the video that the hate comments are from up on the screen. All of my hate comments are on videos that are more popular on my channel. So like my fake bag video, my Sam's experience video, my Panera video. Videos like that that have a lot more views are the videos that have any hate comments at all. Before I get started, no, I'm not going to block out these people's names or anything like that. They get offended. I'm so sorry. You put the comment publicly under my video. So I should be able to use those comments on my video just putting that out there so the first video that I found hate comments or negative comments under is my fake Louis Vuitton pochette Matisse bag it reads most annoying video ever why I need more context I need I need some more more content please tell me why my video is the most annoying video ever I want to know why you know like I want to know what people think when they watch my videos especially when it's hate what are you thinking what is it that annoyed you was it me my face the bag the background I don't know what was it I want to know this is awful quality then they left another comment you're being so fake in this video it's a joke again first comment this is awful quality what is the video the bag me I'd love to know what the awful quality was for saying that I was being fake in this video you don't know me that's like one thing like how can you tell me that I was being fake you don't know me as a person you only see what you see in the videos and if I was being a little bit more awkward this was when I first started to get back into filming all the time so it was a little bit more awkward for me and I wasn't fully my like outrageous self as you see here today. I was still being myself. You don't know me. So what is fake? What is real? Think about that. Next is from my fake Prada bag video. Surprisingly, this one only got one like hate comment. People said they love like constructive criticism, things like that. But those are just helpful comments. And I love those type of comments. But the one hate, I don't even know if it's hate on me. I don't know. But it says the quality is very bad. And this time I'm guessing they mean the bag because of what they say next. Look at the bright red around the fake leather. I would be very disappointed if I received a bag this bad quality. The one thing for me is that with all of these fake bag videos, I preface that it is a fake bag. Fake. fake meaning I bought it from a seller and they made it most likely in China so saying that you'd be upset if you had a bag this bad quality I'm just reviewing it I'm not here to tell you that these bags are trash I tell you what it is you get what you pay for and a lot of people were getting mad at me for that especially the Michael Kors video if I can find those comments I will put them on the screen but a lot of people weren't trying to be mean but they were trying to say well if you knew you were only getting a bag for ten dollars you should have expected that it was gonna be bad and that was the point I was paying ten dollars to see what ten dollars could get you on one of these fake bags website yes I was spending my money on. I knew what I was spending my money on I knew they might be hot trash and this Prada bag actually I liked it if it's not the best quality it's not designer this bag was like 30 or 40 dollars I was perfectly okay with that you saying you'd be disappointed I'm sorry you'd be disappointed but now you know that you shouldn't buy it see I feel like I'm helping you I'm here I'm helping you so now you don't have to buy this bag what like I think I'm doing a great job you don't have to buy this bag. You know that you don't like it. Maybe I liked it. So that's great. You don't have to waste your money on it. I helped you out. You're welcome. 
The next one was from my Working at Sam's Club video. Now this video actually got a lot of love on it, which is actually really cool. I had some people actually message me saying that they had similar experiences working at Sam's Club. It was actually really cool to see that people had such similar experiences, but the only one hate comment that I had on this video was someone that said, enough with the like, it makes you sound childish. Now I'm sorry, Ronnie Sheets. I say like a lot. <laughs> If you go to my videos, I do say it a lot. I try to cut it out now, but I do say like a lot. That's just my vocabulary. I feel like a lot of people say um a lot. And I say um sometimes, but I say like more than I say um. I say like, 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 like all the time. That is just me. That is who I am. I know a lot of other YouTubers and stuff say um and like a lot, but they cut it out of their videos. I try, but sometimes I feel like it just flows with my words. I can't change that. I am so sorry. I am so sorry, you know, plug your ears every time I say like, I don't know. I try to cut it out because I know it does get annoying. It does get annoying for me to hear. I don't think it makes me sound childish, it's just how I talk, so. Sorry, but this is who I am, you know. I guess I'm not being fake anymore because I say, I say like all the time, you know. This video is the one I wanted to show you guys the most. These last couple of hate comments come from my Exposing Panera Bread video. Before I even read you the hate comments, there are some people that are just ride or die for Panera Bread. Let me tell you. Before I even show them to you, you're gonna, you'll see this with your own eyes that some people truly are ride or die for a company. It kind of astonishes me because it's like, it's a job, it's a company. And that I didn't bash the company as a whole. The first one doesn't have anything to do with the company, it has to do with me. You seem so negative. And they had to enter. They had to, they had to put it down. How'd you get a job? Skull emoji. The only reason I feel like this is hate is because you're telling me I'm so negative. I really didn't feel like I was being that negative in this video. I was exposing what I've noticed from working at Panera Bread. I don't think that's negative. I never said I hated my job. Actually, I don't know. I might have said that because I actually kind of didn't like my job. But saying, how'd you get a job? Obviously, when you go to a job interview, you're not sitting there like, oh, wow, your paint is falling off. These pictures are ugly. This place sucks. You're not doing that at a job interview. You're going to be positive. When I first started there, I did like it. That's how most jobs are. I am actually a very positive person. I can have a negative side. And I feel like a lot of my stories and experiences do bring out that more negative side because of the experiences that I've had, it is a little bit more of negative tension between me and that place of employment, you know? So I'm not negative. I'm sorry if I was being negative in the video. I, you know, just was trying to let you know what I've seen. Now this one, this one really got me. This one actually made me laugh. Someone took the time out of their day to write this long, long paragraph to me. Here we go. The thaw isn't a word. I looked it up. It actually might not be a word, but that's just what I say. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm from the South. We say D thaw. I don't. Do you say D thaw or do you say thaw? I mean, D thaw kind of does make it sound stupid, but that's just how I say it. I never really thought about it, but I guess that could be a good pointer. Thank you for that, but I, I that's just how I say it. I don't know. The term you're searching for but can't find is defrost or simply the word thaw. Thanks. Again, you know, dictionaries, it's whatever, my vocabulary. Sorry. I don't think any single person thinks Panera is gourmet food. See, now you don't know that. You don't know what I've seen, what I've experienced, what I've overheard. Let me tell you the conversations I overheard when I was on break when I worked at Panera and I would sit in a booth and there'd be a couple or like two girls, friends, whatever, sitting behind me. The things I would hear, you wouldn't believe. And that's just because my ears hurt it, not yours. Sorry. Higher end fast food, yes. That's exactly what it is. Yeah, kind of. I don't think that that's exposing them. Okay, maybe it's not, but you know, I wanted to use it in the title and I thought it sounded good that I was exposing Panera Bread. Thank you. A lot of this just sounds like a problem at your store slash on your shift with a bunch of young teenagers who don't care at all. That could be true. I did say at the beginning of the video that this is most likely just things that happen at my store. It could happen at others. And if you read the rest of the comments, a lot of people do experience the same things that work at Panera. So a lot of people did agree with me. Just saying. As far as allergens, if you let us know at my store, we change our gloves, wash our hands, and wash our station and follow protocol for allergens before proceeding. Okay, that's great. I wonder what store you work at. What state do you live in? What market are you in? Most likely not the same one that I'm in. Definitely not the same store I worked in. So that's great that your store out of the however many Paneras there are, I 
I'll actually try to look it up and put it on the screen over here for you if I can figure out how many Panera Breads there are in the United States. I just wanted to let you know that these things could be happening. And as far as allergens, yes, you need to let any restaurant, if you have an allergy, you need to let them know immediately and be sure that they're doing things right. This just means that sometimes things slip up and it happens everywhere. Cross-contamination is a big thing. Also, the soup issue, what the F? Why would you hold the container over another soup? Again, this is just something that happened at my store. I didn't even handle the soup. That's how they did it. I don't know. You want to come to my store that I worked at and like supervise? I don't know. Like, I'm not trying to be mean or have an attitude. I'm really not. I just think this is hilarious because it's literally people basing it off of their own experience. Not my own. Also, you're paying $7 for freshly baked bread and cheese made with clean ingredients. Now that one, I don't mean... That you will never be able to justify to me. Freshly baked bread and clean cheese. First of all, cheese will honestly never be clean. Cheese should not be consumed in human body. Dairy honestly shouldn't. I still eat it. No, don't get me wrong. I still eat it. But honestly, cheese is cheese. I don't really know what clean cheese is because it still came from an animal and they made the cheese with the animal's milk and stuff so cheese is cheese and fresh baked bread okay you can still go to the store you go to Harris Tita whatever buy some fresh baked bread even if you buy the loaf of bread for seven dollars that will never be justified to me I'm not gonna even get into that but that will never be justified to me seven dollars for grilled cheese literally no mayonnaise no butter no nothing on the bread never will that be justified to me never nothing that anyone could ever tell me ever but I'm not gonna get into it I could talk about that for hours the tomato soup is also made with clean ingredients if you hate the food service industry so much why the hell would you work in it? Honestly, I don't know. Actually though, that was the first time I had ever worked in the food industry. Cause before that I worked at a gift shop. So I didn't know I didn't really like it like that. I don't know. Again, a lot of this just sounds like you and your coworkers not caring about following protocols for food safety. I mean, not me. Maybe the coworkers. I mean, yes, I'm not saying that in my store they literally like threw dirt on the food and stuff. No, 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 no. I'm just saying there are a couple of things that went down might not have been the best but i wanted to let y'all know about it you know and like i said if you want to watch that video it'll be linked down below and you can read all the other comments that i got on that video where people really did agree with me so that means it happens a lot more than you think the very last comment that i have under that video and the last comment i have for this video is this one and this person split their comment up into three comments so i don't know if you know maybe they they just kept coming back you know they kept coming back to leave their comments because they just felt so strongly about this now i think i'm gonna read it from the bottom up i think that's how they commented it so clearly this person read everyone else's comments and just didn't didn't agree with them i don't know what panera bread y'all go to but they bake all of the pastry at my panera bread at night and in the money in the money they, they bake it in the money <laughs> now i know she probably meant in the morning she definitely said in the money and they bake the pastry they only bake one pastry okay cool i never said that they didn't bake them at night or in the morning they bake everything at panera i just said that a couple of things come frozen and they do that's not a problem they still get baked somewhere else and then they get frozen and then they get shipped to the panera at night and then they bake it and then they sell it it's the truth so I never said that they didn't bake everything because they do. That's what Panera Bread's known for, baking everything in store at night. Now, listening is a key, key thing when you're watching videos. Just want to let you know, see, I'm trying to be helpful, trying to install that knowledge upon you. You're welcome. And they never warm anything up in the microwave. At this point, you're just mad you don't work there anymore. Out here telling all of these lies and before you ask, I work there currently. This one made me laugh. <laughs> this made me laugh so bad because no, I definitely don't miss working there. I did not like working there. I could not wait to leave there. Oh, let me tell you, honey, I do not miss working there at all. That made me laugh. Like I literally chuckled when I read that. When it popped up on notifications on my phone, I laughed. I was like, wow, wow. Some people really are ride or die for this company. I'm great that you work there currently. I hope you enjoy your job. And before anybody else, else asked I only left there a year ago and I made this video either at the beginning of this year I think so I had only not been working there for like six eight months something like that and as far as the microwave thing if your Panera doesn't use microwaves please let me know what innovative thing that they use instead of microwaves because at least the one I worked at like I said there's one that I worked at and there are people in the comments that said that their Panera's did it as well I don't think there's anything wrong with it but again I was just saying that because I don't want everyone to think that there's a factory in the back of Panera where we made everything 
like the mac and cheese and everything fresh like literally because some people really did think that and if people are thinking that they don't I personally had a woman come in when we were out of soup which means that the rest of the soup was in the freezer frozen and asked well can't you just go make some more I heard those words come out of her mouth again that's just what I heard. Now her last comment was, WTF your Panera got going on, you didn't wash your stuff correctly. No, my Panera bread does everything correct, TF. Again, that is amazing for you that your Panera bread does things perfectly. It's great, it's great. I love it. Let me know. You and that other girl need to come together. Let me know what Panera's y'all work at. And I want to come. I want to come see what it's like to work at a perfect Panera. But that's really all I have for you guys. I really thought this was funny. Again, I'm not trying to be mean in any way to any of these people. I just thought it was really funny that they wanted to leave these comments under my videos, especially the people that currently like work at some of these places or the things about the bags and my videos and stuff like that. I just really thought it was really funny. Again, I don't let these go to heart. I don't like sit in my bed and cry. Oh my gosh, someone didn't like my video. Oh, no, it doesn't, it doesn't rub me the wrong way. I honestly just laugh when I get these comments and I try to think like, what are they thinking? That's what I want to know. So let me know down below. Give me some more juicy comments. I want to know what y'all are thinking. Like what's going through your mind? when you say these things. I wanna know. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel down below, and hit the post notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload another video. Follow my social media, it'll be on the screen somewhere and in the description bar down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.